guys. Um, I'm Emily, and we're here to talk about even more AFF stuff. Um, I'm joined with my resident experts. If you guys want to introduce yourself and maybe say what, how many films you saw this week. Hey guys, I am Ravi, and at AFF this year, I saw a total of seven movies. Hey, my name's Hunter, and at AFF this year, I got to see 11 films. My name's Anna Kay, and at AFF, I got to see eight films this year. Awesome. I told you guys that they were experts. <laughs> um, so if you guys want to start simple, maybe tell us your favorite movie and what you liked about it. I'd say my favorite movie of the fest it is probably not what everybody was looking out for, but it's for that interview you just saw. I loved Sam and Kate. Uh, it's a Dustin Hoffman, Sissy Spacek film, which they star in alongside their children, uh, Skylar Fisk and Jake Hoffman. It's a wonderful rom-com. It's a great family story. It's something you can watch with your parents. It will make you feel warm inside. It will make you laugh, make you tear up a little bit. I, I just loved it. I had, a, I had a great time with Sam and Kate. I love that. Robbie, what about you? Uh, I'd say it's a real close tie between Woman Talking and The Whale. They're both very two real and powerful movies about like some serious things, and I just thought they did a great job of conveying those. Awesome. What about you, Anna Kay? See, I had two films from the fest make it in my top ten for the year so far, and that would be Glass Onion and Women Talking. I just had such a great time with Glass Onion. I'm such a fan of the first, and so it was just fun to see Benoit Blanc back in such a new environment. And then Women Talking just absolutely blew me away. Um, just fantastic cast and just really amazing moments. Yeah, I love that. I totally agree about Glass Onion. That's like the one film I got to see, and I completely agree. Um, was there any films you guys saw that were maybe unexpected that you liked? Like any gems that kind of surprised you? Yeah, one that's a hidden gem in my opinion that you should seek out. It's still seeking distribution, so I'm not sure where you're going to be able to see it, but uh, an Australian coming-of-age comedy called The Library Boys. Um, it's just another take on this kind of like super bat, uh, uh, book smart, you know, three high school senior boys trying to make the most of their last year, hooking up with girls, getting into trouble. It's, it's a lot of fun. It had the funniest opening sequence of any film I've seen all year. Uh, and it's just a ton of fun. So that's my hidden gem of the fest, Library Boys. Check it out. I feel like I got to see like a lot of the marquee films, so not a lot of hidden gems, but I did see Library Boys as well, and it was, it was a blast. And the whole theater just had a really good time with it. So hopefully it gets distribution, because I'd love to see it again. Yeah, that's awesome. Did you have any that surprised you? Uh, sort of. I mean, like, there's, I was going to say like Glass Onion, because like, I didn't know if they would be able to top you know, the first like, Knives Out, but they did. They did a really good job. It was a super awesome, cool mystery whodunit. Nice. Yeah, totally agree. <laughs> um, so I know Robbie kind of touched on it, but The Whale was the opening night film, and that obviously was getting a lot of buzz. It was a big deal. Um, do you guys have any thoughts about the movie? What'd you think? What'd you rate it? Overrated. Very overrated film. Um, Darren Aronofsky's uh, commentary in the film is about as subtle as getting hit over the head with a hammer. Um, Brendan Fraser is fantastic. I'm not going to discount that. Uh, he should probably be the front runner for best actor. Um, and, but I think the filmmaking is just adequate, and I think the script is quite poor. I think it's really just not well handled at all, and they're just not subtle in the slightest. <laughs> I feel like I'm such a middle ground with The Whale. Where, like, I enjoyed it and I'm really glad that I got to see it. I don't know if I'll ever sit down and watch it again. It's a little draining to watch because of how sad it is in that nature. I do believe that all the hype for Brendan Fraser is, like, completely deserved. Um, that performance is just spectacular. And I'm a huge Stranger Things fan, so seeing Sadie Sink um, in another role was just so impressive. And I really love her work always. So, overall, I felt good about it. Wouldn't really watch it again. Yeah, I loved it. It's uh, in my top five of the year. It's uh, one of my favorite movies from Aronofsky now. So um, you guys are just um, wrong. Did you like when he turned into Black Adam at the end of the movie and like ascended up to heaven or whatever? Oh, yeah, the hierarchy of power and the Aronofsky CU really changed. It's changed forever. Really changed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so some mixed reviews about mm -hmm. the whale. Um, we all kind of also touched on Glass Onion, but that, I know that was another big one that was getting a lot of buzz. Did you guys have any other thoughts about that one? I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a lot of fun. I thought that the standout was Ed Norton as this kind of tech billionaire, you know, your take on a Elon Musk or a Mark Zuckerberg type mm -hmm. figure. Um, Edward Norton was obviously just having so much fun chewing every piece of scenery, and it just was a joy anytime he was on screen. Um, he was my standout, but the whole film was a lot of fun. The whole cast is great. 
I, like, was laughing so hard at so many moments, like, probably longer than I should have been. I just had such a fun time in that theater, and part of the energy is just being in the Paramount and being with so many people witnessing that. Um, I'm also glad that we got to see it before that trailer came out, but I still think that the trailer did a really good job in not revealing any twists, and so I think people will still be really, really surprised with how it really switches up throughout the film. Yeah, I went into this one knowing almost nothing, and then imagine my surprise when the glass onion was an actual place. I thought it was just a <laughs> metaphor, but no, it's real. It's it's big. It's it's made of glass. You can't eat it, though. I mean, you could try, but you, you probably shouldn't. Mm -mm. But that was pretty neat. Yeah. Wouldn't be tasty. Yeah, wouldn't no. recommend eating the glass onion, no. but I did no. think the movie was great. <laughs> recommend um, watching it, though. I yeah, do it. recommend watching it. Mm -hmm. um, so one last question. Um, I know we all kind of got to do some interviews, which you guys just saw a few of. Um, was there anybody that was like really special to interview for you guys or somebody that stood out to you on the red carpet? Yeah, I got to be on two red carpets. I got to be on the, the red carpet for the whale, and then also for Song of the Cicada. Um, Obviously, being on the carpet for the whale, I was doing behind the scenes, but just like being so close to Darren, Aaron, Aaron, Darren Aronofsky was just so amazing. And then um, also, I was doing camera for Song of the Cicada, and the subject of that documentary was just the most interesting man, and hearing him um, just talk about his life was just really exciting, and I really want to check that film out after, like when it's released. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a little biased um, to how much I love the Sam and Kate carpet. That was just the like, kindest, most wonderful cast, uh, which definitely made me like the movie more. I'm not going to sit here and say that's not true, but it's uh, they're just wonderful humans who were so kind and generous with their time, uh, gave great answers, stayed and had long conversations with me, um, and, and talking to like Jake Hoffman and Skylar Fisk and Dylan, uh, but just they were just wonderful. I just loved it. Yeah, I wasn't on any red carpets, but I did walk by them. I saw my fellow sneak peekers on them getting ready, <laughs> and that was so cool, you know, like, just walking by and be like, oh, hi, Ryan. Hi, Sydney. <laughs> you guys seen the movie? No, well, I am. So <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, for sure. Um, well, that's wonderful. Um, we had a great time at AFF this year, and we are already looking forward to next oh, year. Yeah. Um, that's all the time we have for tonight, but thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next week. Bye, sneak peekers. <laughs>